Hey what's up guys, your tech dude here back with another video. And finally after 6 tries of getting the audio and lighting correct, I am here with a review of the Logitech MX Master 2S. But before we get into the review, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start out this review with the pros. The Logitech MX Master 2S has amazing ergonomics. It's sculpted to fit your hand perfectly and with comfort. Not only is it a feature-packed mouse, but it's really comfortable to use. So, the next thing is customization. The Logitech MX Master has a collection of buttons, each of which is customizable. In the software you download to control the mouse, which I'll talk about in a little bit, you can customize what each button on the mouse does. So for example, I use a Mac. So with the front and back buttons on the mouse, throughout my system I have it so that when I click forward or back it goes between desktops. However, what's nice about the MX Master 2S is that not only can you customize the buttons system-wide, but you can also make them app-specific. So when I'm in Safari, instead of using the forward and back buttons to go between desktops, I use them to go forward and back between pages instead of having to click the buttons all the way in the top corner. But those aren't the only two buttons. Not only are there the other two main buttons, there are seven buttons on this mouse. And that's not to mention the two scroll wheels. Oh, and speaking of the scroll wheels, the main one on the top has two different modes. The first mode is ratchet. Ratchet scrolling is basically like scrolling on most mice. Each time you roll the wheel a little bit, it clicks. However, when you start scrolling faster, it turns into free scroll, which releases the wheel from those clicks, and it'll just spin freely. Now, you can either have this set up automatically, so that slower will do ratchet mode, and when you scroll faster, it'll go into free scroll, but you can also make it one or the other exclusively, if you prefer. The next pro on my list is tracking. The Logitech MX Master 2S is the predecessor to the Logitech MX Master, which was a really good mouse. But in the new one, they really improved the tracking. It's now 4000 DPI, and Logitech claims it can even track on glass. No mouse pad needed. So now, as I said before, let's talk about the software a little bit. The Logitech Option software is really intuitive. Not only does it display a visual of the mouse for you to customize buttons, you can also choose things like the sensitivity of the pointer speed, as well as how fast you need to scroll the wheel for it to turn into free scroll. But a new feature Logitech introduced with the 2S series is called Flow. What Flow allows you to do is use the mouse with multiple computers simultaneously. You know how if you have a monitor connected to a laptop, you can have it set up so that the mouse can go right between the displays? Logitech figured out how you could do this between two completely different computers. And not only can you drag the mouse between two different computers, you can also do something like copy a file on one computer and paste it right onto the next. All you need to do is drag the mouse over to the other computer. The last pro is design. The Logitech MX Master looks really cool. The attention to detail put in by Logitech, like the pattern on the thumb button, really just pulls the whole product together. And not only does it look great, it also just feels really good, as I said before. It's made out of high quality materials and is very comfortable to use. But every product has cons, doesn't it? So now it's time to talk about those. The first one is micro USB, really large tech. The mouse charges with micro USB, but it was introduced well into the time of USB-C. I don't know why Logitech didn't just make that jump, but that's obviously not something I can change. So, the next thing is a Bluetooth connection to the Mac. When I set up the Logitech MX Master 2S by a Bluetooth with my Mac, it was pretty bad. The mouse lagged when I would try to move it across the screen, and sometimes it would just get stuck and disconnect momentarily. However, when I did a little research on this, I found that other people with Macs were having the same problem too but Windows users weren't experiencing the same issues. But on the bright side, the Logitech MX Master 2S comes with a Logitech Unify receiver, 
which is just a USB dongle you can plug into any computer. And by using that, it eliminates the need of Bluetooth. So, with my Mac, I use the Unify receiver and it works perfectly. But now that we're on the topic of connectivity, I just wanted to mention Logitech system for Bluetooth. On the bottom of the mouse, there's a button with three numbers around it. And each time you pair the mouse to a computer, it's assigned a different number. So, instead of having to disconnect from one computer, maybe turn off Bluetooth and then repair on the next, all you have to do is click the button on the bottom of the mouse and it'll switch the devices for you. It's as easy as that. The last con is price. This mouse comes in $100. And while for most people that might be a little bit much, for anyone who can make the features built into this mouse useful, I'd say it's worth it. For me, it was worth every penny. And if you want to save about 10 bucks, you can pick it up on Amazon or at Best Buy. So here's my rating. Overall, a great mouse, just a few kinks to it. The micro USB thing doesn't really affect me that much, but they could have made it future proof in that instance. The Bluetooth connectivity is a bit of a downside because Bluetooth is a good thing. But with the Unify receiver, it doesn't really matter to me. It only takes up one USB port and I use a monitor anyway. So that's about all for this video guys. Of course I'll leave a link to the mouse in the description and be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video and as I said before, turn on notifications so you know when I upload something new. So that wraps up the video guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.